It's the, obviously the coach's decision. Uh, I think I'm ready to go. I've had uh, you know a week and a half of good practices, uh, contact, and uh, it feels pretty good. Obviously, you're never going to know until you get in the. You're not going to know about your hand or or the you know how you feel until you get in the game, and uh, you know I hopefully you play tomorrow night. So I'm uh, definitely looking forward to it. It's been a a tough long road I, that I I had to go down and. Uh, it's been an uphill climb, and uh, I feel like I finally got to the top of the, the hill, and I'm uh, hopefully back and be able to play. It gives you a little more leeway right now, I think. Uh, uh, I mean, it's it's initially. I mean, uh, he's missed 38 games, so we don't really know, you know what we're going to see uh, tomorrow. I know he'll have a lot of energy, but it, we'll see how long the energy lasts. You know, that's it. Uh, it's it's uh, it's tough to come back, you know. It's almost like training camp revisited type thing for him. But I mean, I know he's been skating, but uh, it's so uh, now we have guys that are playing against him that are going against him. You know, like I mean, it's not as easy as just practice or or skating by yourself. So it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see. I, I'm so happy for Blake. Yeah, obviously the stuff injury and uh, he has working so extremely hard for come back and. Uh, it's it's nice to see that the electric bunny out there again. Yes, he brings a lot of energy and uh, and spark and the speed and stuff. So I'm very happy. It's been tough kind of sitting at home for the last few months, but uh, it's really nice to be back around the guys. Um, it's really a great group of guys, and uh, you know it's uh, I'm really glad I could get on the ice and start getting my hands and feet moving together again. I was here for training camp and coming here today. It's almost like you know a new training camp, meeting new coaches and. Uh, and stuff like that, but it's uh, it's great. The energy around here is really good, and uh, it's kind of exciting to see uh, the guys in the locker room uh, energized by the coach and the new coaching staff. Well, I think I'm a physical defenseman, uh, just kind of responsible in the defensive end, and nothing flashy offensive, but uh, you know, just a solid, reliable, uh, physical D-man. I'm just happy to see him back here. I don't know what his progress or the the plans are for him right now. Um, here, let's let's skate him. Let's get him in game shape, and then let's see what the uh, you know he hasn't played. He's missed camp. I mean, the the, the sure bet would be that uh, he'd have to go down in, on a conditioning basis and play some games. I would think. Oh, uh, legs felt great. Um, it's uh, you know it's 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 nice to start the process of feeling like I'm you know 100% like I was uh, when training camp started. It's just kind of the uh, uh, you know knocking off the rust after not playing for three months. Um, you know the hand stuff. That stuff. You know, I've been working on getting that stronger, and it's almost a non-issue right now. It's just more of timing and puck moving and stick handling stuff. You know, I'm just one of those guys that if if we're losing, I'm going to make changes. I mean, because it's, it's obviously what's happening is not working. And uh, um, I once asked Scotty Bowman that, and he said, "Well, he says the more times you change lines, the less chance the other teams have of matching lines." So he said he used to change lines 25 to 50 times a, a game, depending on the game. And um, I've sort of followed that rule, and, and it, it, so everybody ends up getting used to playing with each other, so it's not a shock when you play with, it, with, it, with each other. But, I mean, I looked at it after the first period, and I said, well, you know, uh, and the first period I thought was fine, but once they got behind 3 nothing, I, I thought uh, uh, in the past the, the Koivu, Solani, uh, Ryan line, Doing well before Saku got hurt, so thought I'd put them together and and see uh, see how that went. We still have hope here, so that's why I don't want to waste any any thoughts for anything else than just here right now. Uh, let's keep fighting as long as we have a chance, and uh, and you know let's go one uh, one day at a time. And I'm still waiting that time when we start get rolling here and, and get some wins on the row and, and and try to stay as hard as we can in that time and see how far we can go because this is funny funny business you know when you get when you get hard you, you never know what's going to happen so. you have to make short term goals and you have to uh, you have to look at it I know the cliche is one game at a time I like to look at it one week at a time and you try to win the week and, and if you win the week uh, after a couple of weeks, then you start looking at the standings. Right now, well, we're uh, we're about uh, it's a new year. Let's let's start everybody at zero and let's see how we do in the new year. 
you know, I look at our team and just the talent that we have on the team, and uh, you know, it, it is tough. Obviously, the you're not in the position you want to be in, but you know, it's a new year, and uh, we're, we we haven't lost in this year yet. So uh, we want to keep moving forward and and try to put some wins together. And you know what? There's a lot of games left, and uh, you know, I think right now it's just about us and, and worrying about what we need to do, what we have to do. Uh, we can't afford to to be losing in bunches. Uh, we gotta we gotta start winning some hockey games and this is a great league when you start winning. You play so often. You're gonna win a lot of games in short short time, you know. And vice versa too, you know, when you play bad, this league is brutal. We all know that. So we are we are looking for, for forward to get that little roll right now.